Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to play the E M chord or the E minor chord. This is, in my opinion, the easiest of all the basic major and minor chords. At least the first way to play it, the most regular way to play it, all right? Now, let's begin. We're gonna place our ring finger on the second fret of the fourth string. And then finally, our middle finger on the second fret of the fifth string. And we're just gonna play all the strings. That's the E minor chord, very easy. If this is not working, I don't know what will. This is the easiest basic chord that you can learn, I think. So, the second way to play this chord, again, we're going to start off with the second way from last week to play the D chord, or the D M chord rather, and that was here on the fifth fret with my index finger. And we're just gonna move up two frets again, and we get the E minor chord. All right, so that's the second way to play it. Again, we can go further up down the arm uh, here, but that's just the same as here with the addition of my index finger and it's an octave higher. And you won't have to use that one a lot, I think. So, but there's another way to play the E minor chord. Now remember how last week we did the D minor chord. Uh, the first way to play it was right here like this, with the four lower strings on our guitar. Now, if we move those up two frets, and we take the addition of another string, then we get actually the E minor chord again. So the thing is, a chord is made up of different notes. And you can say from two or three notes that you already have some kind of uh, chord. But on guitar, I'm just gonna show you guys the chords uh, with four strings or more because otherwise you have infinite possibilities to play different chords if you only have to use three strings but so from four strings and more I can use them to show you so this one is actually uh, not that common to play but it's a possibility so first we are going to start off with our middle finger on the third fret of the first string then we're going to place our pinky finger on the 5th fret of the 2nd string. Our ring finger on the 4th fret of the 3rd string. And then finally we are going to add our index finger and place it on the 2nd fret of the 4th string like this. Now this is a little bit harder to position right and to play clean, but if you do that we get this. So the four lower strings, and that's also the E minor chord. Yeah, the hard thing about this one is that the fingers are pretty far away from each other. And in the beginning, that asks for a little more exercise than the other ones. All right, so but that's another way to play the E minor chord. All right, so those are a few ways how to play the E minor chord. I hope you learned something again, guys. Next week, we are going to do the F minor chord. I hope you stay tuned for that one. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Also don't forget guys, I have reaction videos for you guys to check out and music videos, alright. So thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye.